You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update. An arrest is made in the murder of Rachel Morin nearly a year after the mother of five was found dead on a trail in Harford County. The county sheriff's office says that Victor Martinez Hernandez was arrested in Tulsa, Oklahoma on Friday. He's an illegal immigrant from El Salvador. Hernandez is facing murder and rape charges in Morin's death. Her body was discovered on the Ma and Pa Trail in Bel Air in August. Morin's mom thanked law enforcement for bringing justice to their family. I am so grateful that they have brought us to this place because at some, at some of the points during this, I didn't think that we were ever going to have an end, that it was going to be a cold case. So I would like to applaud them. And Sheriff Jeffrey Gaylor says Hernandez is wanted for another murder in his home country. He will be extradited back to Maryland in the coming days. 175,000 marijuana convictions in Maryland are now erased. Governor Wes Moore signing an executive order today to pardon low-level misdemeanor convictions. Maryland legalized the recreational use of marijuana last July. In 2022, President Biden issued a sweeping pardon for federal marijuana convictions, calling on governors to do the same on the state level. According to the American Civil Liberties Union, black Americans have historically been more than three times as likely to be arrested on marijuana charges this pardon comes just two days before Juneteenth, marking the emancipation of enslaved African Americans. We'll get medical equipment for free. It's from the Department of Aging. They say there's a warehouse full of donated wheelchairs, scooters, shower chairs, and other items. They have so much stuff, they can't take any more donations. So they've launched Maryland Equips to get the word out about this free program. And we have details on how to get a piece of equipment at WMAR2news.com. Well, we continue to deal with quite a warm day out there. As temperatures are still expected to be in those 90s, not only just today, but also throughout the rest of the week. You'll notice that winds out of the south will help reinforce a lot of that warmth, those clear skies as well, thanks to this high pressure system that sits over top of us, leading into more warmth and sunshine as we get in towards the rest of this week. So you'll notice by Tuesday, Wednesday, temperatures still hanging around the low 90s. Then we start to get closer to the mid 90s by Thursday, upper 90s for Friday, and then take a look at Saturday. That's where we're expected to be into the upper 90s, close to 100. And yes, we do have some humidity to deal with as well. So heat in the seas could be close, if not above 100 over the over the weekend. So be sure to stay cool out there, Megan. Yeah, it's going to be a hot one. Thank you, Caesar. Well, today is your last day to take a free tour of a naval ship for Maryland Fleet Week. They are docked at the Inner Harbor, Locust Point and Fells Point. Tours go until five o'clock tonight. There's also the Family Fun Day at Broadway Square in Fells. That goes until six o'clock tonight. Then the ships will be heading out of Baltimore starting tomorrow. And stay up to date on the top stories of the day by going to WMAR2news.com. And for your news and weather while you're on the go, you can download the WMAR2news app. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight.